hello folks after a long time so um, i had a break in my schedule it's because we have some holidays and we also have uh, to prepare for uh, the board examinations at our international centers and in addition uh, uh, one of our international colleague a physics teacher uh, visited our country so i had to uh, make things a bit uh, easier for him so uh, added some schedules uh, so uh, since now he has gone for, he is uh, now in his uh, uh, schedule in, uh, in 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 our in in our, in our country, uh, enjoying the beauty of our country, Nepal. So I'm free to record once again. So uh, today uh, the question number is 18 October November paper two two and the question number is two. It, it has been uh, requested by someone uh, in, in this YouTube channel. So I thought that it's worthy of a discussion. It's about uh, uh, some part is about uh, uh, quantities, physical quantities, and uh, the next part is about uh, uh, rotation uh, effect of force, which is called moment or torque. So it's question number two uh, of this year. Uh, the first question says uh, the kilogram, meter, and second are all SI base units. State two other SI base units. So you have altogether uh, five units. Among them, we have to state uh, uh, two of them. So I can say just uh, one of them is Kelvin. One of them is Kelvin, or I can say one of them is the uh, mole. So, uh, or we can say candle also. So you can uh, name any of them. Now, in number B, a uniform beam AB of length six meter, length six meter, is placed on a horizontal surface and then tilted at an angle of 31 degree to the horizontal, as shown in Figure 2.1. The beam is held in equilibrium. So let's mind this word equilibrium. It means that it is uh, not moving at this uh, moment by four forces that all act in the same plane. So same plane means, means that all the forces are here. Neither of them is coming like this, nor it is coming like this or like this. So all of them acting in the same plane, either this, this, this or this, same plane. A force of 90 Newton acts perpendicularly to the beam at NA. So here it's 90 degree. The weight W of the beam acts at its center of gravity here, which is vertically down. A vertical force uh, y, y, vertical up force, this vertically down, vertically up, and the horizontal force x, x, both act at end B of the beam. So they alter the four forces here. So first question is, state the name of the force x. So the name of this force x. So the name of this force is the frictional force. Actually what happens is, when I try to lift this thing, lift this thing, this thing tries to slide. This thing tries to slide. So if I have a surface as an um, icy surface or very slippery surface, this thing will definitely slide. But since it is not sliding, that means this uh, body should have friction. It tries to slide like this, but the friction will hold it like this. So because of friction, it can remain at its position. So this force X should be the frictional force. Now if somebody asks me what is the force Y, is the normal reaction of this uh, surface, what's W, is the weight, What's the 30, this 9 newton is the applied force on the beam. So the name of the force X is the frictional force. I can just say friction or I can say frictional force. Now, by taking moments about N E N B, calculate the weight W of the beam. So what we have here is, uh, let's uh, go for all the forces. This force, 90 newton, is trying to move this body in a clockwise fashion. So that's why tau clockwise is equal to this uh, 90 newton into the perpendicular distance of this force of this line of action of this force with the fulcrum so the perpendicular distance is the 6 meter 6.0 then the tau anti-clockwise is equal to this thing this thing do not cont contribute because they pass through the uh, through the uh, fulcrum it's themselves so this thing will try to move the body in anti-clockwise sense. So that's why tau anti-clockwise should be equal to W into W into W into this distance. Because the distance we take is the perpendicular distance from the line of action, line of action of the force, force to the fulcrum. So this thing will be equal to, equal to this into cos of 31. This thing will be equal to this into cos of 31. So it's equal to, uh, this thing into cos. So this thing is equal to half of the 6 meter. It's because weight acts at the middle of the uniform beam. That's why 
this thing should be 3 meters so it is 3.0 then 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 the cos of 31 degree so at equilibrium this should be equal so I must have W into 3.0 cos of 31 degree should be equal to 90 into 6.0 which means W should be equal to 90 into 6.0 divided 3.0 cos of 31 degree and and by calculations the value uh, comes to be equal to so let me use a uh, uh, calculator here so let me use calculator calculator uh, so if I do it uh, like this uh, if I use the calculator the value comes to be equal to so it is 209.99 newton which I can write as 210 newton now in the next question determine the magnitude of force x so here uh, this force x uh, acts exactly in the horizontal direction to the left so we have to compare it something uh, that is acting horizontally to the right so that's why let us say this force this force is the horizontal component of this thing 90 newton which is equal to this is 31 so this angle is 31 this angle is 31 degree so if I consider uh, this component, uh, if I consider uh, this component of this 90, so I must have, I must have, uh, so the component of the force, uh, this 90 is equal to force at A to the right, to the right is equal to 90 Newton, Newton into uh, this component of this force, that's equal, so this component is equal to 90 into cos of this angle, cos of this angle. Or I can simply say sine of this angle. Cos of this angle or sine of this angle. So it's equal to 90 sine of 31 degree. And then next we have got this x. So since this thing is in equilibrium, I must have force to the right should be equal to force to the left. So force to the right, 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 right should be equal to force to the left. So which means that x is equal to equal to this 90 sine of 31 degree so that is equal to when i do the calculations so it gives me the value is equal to equal to, equal to it is 46.35 newton when i make it shortcut it becomes 46 newton so 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 the value of a force x is equal to 46 newton so one thing that you have to remember here is that uh, here is how did components so i need this i need this this is equal to 90 cos of this angle cos of this angle so that's equal to 90 into sine of this angle either take cos of this angle or sine of this angle sine of this angle so it's okay and becomes sine 31